Hey there, crafty friends. It's Tina the Scrappin' Rabbit, and it is time for another release at Jaded Blossom. And these are the stamps and the die set that are available in the shop right now. And I did share with you guys on Monday the new die, which is this cupcake slider die. So, so much fun to play with. And the whole theme has been cupcakes and birthdays. And so I really enjoyed making my projects this week with this theme, something for everybody and very useful uh, stamps and sentiments. And I love, love, love this die. So let me go ahead and share with you the stamps that we revealed throughout the week. So this first one here is called Sugar Coat Everything. And in this stamp set, you get two different tag designs. So you get this first one, have your cake, eat it too, happy, happy birthday. And you can't buy happiness, but you can buy cupcakes and that's kind of the same thing. You get a little cake, happy birthday uh, cursive sentiment there, sugar coat everything, and it's a cupcake kind of day. So you get the little cake and the little cupcakes that will also layer onto these the tag sets and the little star as well so for the second stamp set it is another cake this time it's a large sentiment and large cake stamp so there's the that right there and i did um i have a project that i'll be sharing in a future uh post using this stamp and the sentiments are happy to you celebrate time birthday to your big wish and party. So lots of different combinations that you can do. You get a little candle and you also get some of the little confetti um, or the sprinkles, the little star in the sprinkle that you can add additional sprinkles to or decorate a card or a background with. So lots of fun using this one as well. The third and fourth stamp set is, oops, let me grab the alphabet. You have the fun alphabets one and fun alphabet two. So you get all the letters right there. So I believe like probably A through M on this one and then N through Z on this one and lots of fun. They're really nice size. Stamp and color however you want. Stamp on patterned paper. And you know, they do offer the SVGs for these if you have a cutting machine and wanna use that to cut them out. Uh, fun numbers is the one that we revealed today along with the birthday balloon tag, which is the freebie for this release. So this one is not available in the shop. However, all qualifying orders will receive this stamp set for free and you get this happy birthday tag and you get the separate balloons as well. So super duper cute stamp set for free with all qualifying orders, which is $40 or more before shipping and taxes through this weekend. So um, make sure that you get your order in if you wanna get that freebie because it won't be available for purchase. <clears throat> there is the release right there. So let me share with you what I made. So I showed on you on Monday my little cupcake slider and I did it in a shabby chic type of a theme and I used the banners and I used some really pretty papers that I absolutely love and I've made a lot of projects using this paper but I still have a ton of it left so I want to keep using it up. So this is what it looks like. It slides out. You have a birthday, our little gift card slot die that you could stick a gift card there. You can um, write a message on the back. You can also attach an additional layer if you want to cover up the holes for the gift card, depending upon how you want to do it. And then it slides into this pocket just like that. So that is the cupcake slider die. And then I just added a little sentiment from another stamp set. So for the second day of reveals, <clears throat> I created this cupcake card. So using the slider die, I just cut out over an A2 card base and it opens up like a card. Isn't that cute? So this one I used the sprinkles and the little cherry that comes on top. It's a cupcake kind of day. And then you flip it open, sprinkled with love for you on your birthday. So that is the second project that I made. The 
third project I used that cake stamp and I added little faces to them and I made some birthday tags using those large sentiments that celebrate. I stamped and embossed them and so that is what I made for uh, the third day of reveals. And then on Thursday, yesterday, we were featuring the Al Fun Alphabet and so I stamped hello with the little kitties from the Mew Did It stamp set. And I think it turned out so cute. I stamped and I colored with Copics and then I added some sparkle over the letters. And then I also stamped the sentiment, my friend, which is from the Happy Hello stamps. And then I sprinkled with some sequins there. And then now I have a little note card. The edges are using the scallop rectangles too. And then the card mat dies for my layers. For that card, and then for today's reveals, we were revealing the number stamps as well as this birthday balloon tag freebie. And so that's the one that I used for my project. And it's another cupcake gift card holder. And then I stamped that tag stamp right on the front. I added this really pretty ribbon and used the coordinating papers. I added some of the doodlebug sprinkles that are also available in the Jaded Blossom shop today and then you pull it open and there is a gift card. And then I added the white panel in the back so I could write a little message or stamp another sentiment on there if I choose. But that is what I made for today's reveals. And so right now for our blog hop, I also have a, my last project to share. And if you wanted to <clears throat> go ahead and hop along, I'll leave the link below in the description box. And basically a blog hop is where you go and you visit everybody's blogs on the design team and you leave a comment. And the more blogs you visit and the more comments you leave, the more chances you have to win. There will be a random person selected from uh, all of our blogs and a random comment. And that winner will get to choose a stamp set of choice as a prize. So you'll want to participate in that if you're interested in a chance to win. And like I said, I'll leave the link below if you would like to go ahead and visit the blogs. So for my last project and my blog hop project, I used a combination of the cupcake slider with a bunch of other Jaded Blossom sets to create something a little bit different. So now you see how you can use this as a cupcake, super duper cute. And what I ended up doing was making two different types of things that you can use this die with. So the first one here is a little handbag. <laughs> and I think it turned out so cute. And this is from the same paper stack as this one that I uh, showed you on Monday. I just love the papers in this stamp set or in this pad. And what I did was I cut out the bottom portion of the die <clears throat> that looks like this. So I cut this one out twice using the pattern paper. I cut the cupcake shape, this, this piece right here. <clears throat> so I cut this out, but I trimmed across the top right here. So you would get, let me see if I have a piece that I trimmed earlier. Um, here's one. So I trimmed it so that it looks like this. And then I cut a couple of these out. And then for the handles, I used the Jaded Blossom scallop dies. So there is a scallop circle die as well as a scallop oval die, which I love these. And then there are the stitched oval, and then there's also a stitched circle that coordinate with that. And then, so I cut those out, and this one was, as you could see, is using the circle, and this one is using the oval. And I tucked those in between the two panels, the little handles, and then I glued them together so that when you pull it out, you have your little gift card holder. So on this one, I adhered an Amazon gift card 
since it's for a birthday and I left this front panel blank for now I wasn't sure if I was going to write a message on there or if I was going to stamp a sentiment but I did use the new happy birthday sentiment right there I stamped it and embossed it because I thought that that looked good with the black and I did cut this out twice so that it's black on the front and on the back and this is double-sided paper so you could see there's the pink on the inside there so super cute and then for the trim I used one of my favorite dies because it has come in handy for a lot of the paper piecing projects that I like to do and it's from the border dies and it's this thinner one right here and so I cut a couple strips of that out and I lined it across the top to look like a stitched panel. I love handbags. I don't have a ton of them, but I love to look at them and I always want them every time I go shopping. And so I thought this would make a really fun little handbag. And then I decorated with the flower, the flower and the flower center. They were from two different die sets, which many of you probably have. And I got the flower from the flower dies and then the center is from the tropical flower dies and I thought felt like it matched the flower in the pattern paper so I thought that would be a fun extra detail to add and then you can add a little charm or something across here if you wanted to have like a little tassel I just didn't get a chance to do that but that is what I came up with for a handbag version of the cupcake slider and then for my second one here, I made this one into an Easter basket. So using the same trim, I added three of them going across there, all on this white basket. And then I cut out this label and I stamped that sentiment. The sentiment is from this Easter basket fun stamp set. And I used the bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And the label is from this label shape die set and so I used the smaller one of this for this for this front um, for the front of the basket and then I did stamp and emboss the sentiment for the little bunny and the Easter eggs and the grass I used the spring dies that I have this one is a little bit bigger than the spring the spring dies that's in the shop this one was a version 2 so it's a little bit bigger, but otherwise I think it's the same as the version one. And I use the Easter eggs and the grass and the bunny. And then I just layer them in there. And then I also added the bow because that's one of my favorite dies there is the bow dies. Now for this one, I only did one layer for the handle, but I definitely like the double handle bedel better because it's a lot thicker and not as flimsy. I did this one first and so I had only added one layer. So I would recommend that if you're gonna do the handle to double layer it so that you have a little bit more uh, durability there. And it basically is just gonna pop out. And then you have, I did the die cut for the gift card slot. I haven't added a gift card to this one yet. And then you don't have to add anything on here but I added this little label and so that I could write a little message on there a little say happy Easter and write to and from on there but then it just slips right back in like that and it looks cute because this is double-sided paper and then let me just tuck that in there better I just have to glue that little edge I think so that it doesn't pop out it doesn't resist the little trim but I think that it turned out really cute and <clears throat> definitely something fun for an Easter gift card, especially when your kids are older like mine. It, we don't have the Easter Bunny visiting anymore. <laughs> and so gift cards are always welcome. 
Well, that's it, everyone. That is this release. And like I said, I'll have the links for the blog hop as well as the shop. And all of these items are available for purchase right now. I hope you liked all my projects. And I want to thank you again for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you liking and leaving comments. I love to read them. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.